today you have received an award for your contribution on the international shipping industry uh, in general. Could you please make a statement as to where the sources of income or funding will be coming from uh, in terms of the shipping industry? Uh, bank finance has been for generations the, the most important source for shipping finance. That's one. Of course, the banks have been hit badly by the crisis, not only in the, in the shipping industry, in other industries as well, and also by the new capital adequacy rules, which really are extremely demanding. Now, the financial institution has to put aside substantial funds in order to cover their losses. So decisions are made regarding the future of bad loans are made on this basis. Also, decisions are made on, on the basis whether shipping is a risky industry and also whether it is a profitable industry. That's very important. Profitability and riskness are interlinked um, in a major way. The financial institutions have to be profitable. Otherwise, they cannot expand because they need to put aside capital to have uh, reserves. So, as long as shipping is profitable business, not only due to the spreads on interest rates, but due, due to the fees as well, as long as they are profitable and not so risky, banking always will be there, in my view. Of course, we have seen the banks have abandoned um, abandoned the, the shipping industry, we have seen that, but um, I have seen this film before, in the 80s, and I'm going to, see, to say that I will see it again now, but after a period of time, and provided that we have a healthy industry, they will be back, simple as that. Memories are short, you know, in the international banking industry, in the international shipping industry. Now we have some more sources, we have equity. In the 80s, we didn't have equities. We didn't have public equity markets. Uh, if, you say, if, you, if you tell me uh, private equity, I will put a question mark there, because uh, the private equity is for a short period. I mean, they are not there to remain. They are investors who invest, and after four, three, five years, they disappear. So we have to bear this in mind. So, are you actually optimistic or pessimistic, if you like, uh, concerning the trajectory or the future of the shipping industry, given all the um, uh, problems that it has faced up until now for the last seven years? The, if I'm optimistic. Also, what I want to say is that there are the ECAS, Export Credit Agencies, which are replacing to a certain extent the, the banking sector, the financial of the banking sector, uh, when they, they find new buildings. Um, there, uh, you, you have an increase in their financing by 25% over the last, let's say, less than 10 years. Um, if you have the new building industry, the sea building industry, uh, increasing its participation, and producing new vessels, and if you are, of course, um, increasing the level of the active supply, then you have a problem, in my view. Uh, the shipping industry will recover when supply will decrease and when demand will go up, and, uh, and we'll have, when we will have scrapping as well. Now, when do you I, see this happening, though? Uh, if I'm seeing, to a certain degree, yes. It will happen. Look at that. Life is the same always. Life is, it goes up and goes down. We saw the, from 2002 until 2007, we saw a booming industry. And then international events, the financial crisis, all this sort of stuff. There is a period to recover, simple as that. The banking system is, is still in, in a very bad shape, not only for the shipping industry, for every other of a sector of it, the industry. It means that the, the banks, we, which are the main source uh, for economic development, are not in a position to, to give a lot of money to which is needed. Anyway, uh, am I 
specifically, I cannot say that I'm so very happy when I see that there are still new buildings coming on a continuous basis. Um, I mean, this is the area that gives me a problem. Um, otherwise, otherwise, demand continues to be quite high, I would say. I mean, the, the rate of development, of economic development, is quite high, I would say. It continues to be high. So, anyway, uh, I would say overall, to a certain degree, I'm optimistic. Perhaps I'm an optimist, I'm a born optimist, perhaps. Okay. And finally, would you also like to make a comment about your, um, the award that you received today, as well as the Capital Link event? I, I'll tell you, regarding the award, of course, I'm greatly honored, without a doubt. Uh, but uh, what I want to say, uh, for me it was an, a great opportunity to see so very many students, not only from Greece, from other parts of the world. Today was a, a, an excellent meeting, I mean a tremendous meeting. Uh, Capital Link organizes, without a doubt, tremendous meetings. And uh, th 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 this is one of, the, one of the best events, I would say, that, of this kind that I, I have attended. So it was only a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.